Good morning, everyone, from the city of the Great King. So the fire that I have burning in my bones this morning, I really believe, is something that's very important to God. As blood washed, born again, born from above, children of God, we are not to give our adversary an opportunity in our relationships. And I learned many years ago by one of my mentors, Yanit Ross, her and her husband, Reuven, uh, Ross were pastors at one time of King of Kings and then they both went back to Texas to take care of their parents many years ago and they used to teach discipleship courses and communication 101 is to respond to people to reply to people when you don't a person the other person tries to start to figure out what's going on and of course the accuser of the brethren the enemy himself is always looking to accuse us to one another. And so when we don't have communication, our mind, our human mind naturally tries to figure out what's going on. And as blood wash believers, children of God, we should try all the more to communicate. And so I'm dealing with something right now, and this is why I'm speaking about it, because it's so important to communicate we need to watch ourselves. And I was with some dear friends last night and we were talking about believers. And for me at this point, walking with the Lord for a few decades now, it doesn't matter what people call themselves. It's how we ha act and how we behave if we're living a life that God would be pleased with. Telling somebody a believer, it doesn't mean anything to me. It's like the scripture says that by our fruit, people will know us. And so we need to, especially as children of God, because we know this, we've read this, this is in God's word to us. We need to communicate and not give the enemy a foot in the door. And it's really passionately on my heart. It's the fire that's burning inside me today because we have to remember we have an enemy. We certainly do. And he's come to steal, kill and destroy. He's got nothing original to say. He's not a nice guy. And so we are called to be vigilant and guard our hearts and guard our relationships in the name of Yeshua. Amen.